you and your partner having trouble with your relationship? Is being able to effectively listen to one another an obstacle you're trying to overcome? Well, I welcome you to this hour show. I am Chuan Kim, and today I am showcasing the DIY couples therapy. If you answered yes to any of these questions above, then this board game is perfect for you. Now let's introduce the creators of the board game. Let me welcome Dr. Said and Dr. Here to the show. Thank you for having us. Yes, we're happy to be here. Carla Ross, in her article, Reconciling Irreconcilable Differences Through Forgiveness, states, Miscommunication is often listed as one of the top three reasons for separations and divorce and irreconcilable differences in marriage. Learning the skills of listening, creating empathy, conflict management, and resolution strategies can help troubled couples maintain relational satisfaction and longevity. This is why you need DIY Couples Therapy Board Game. It is a fun and inexpensive way to open avenues of communication within the relationship and learn to listen effectively. There is no need for an awkward third person counseling session. All you need is this game, a quiet home, a free night to sit down, play the game, and have some fun while still learning the key secrets to having a strong, trusting relationship. Author Christine Link wrote in her article, Being a Couple in the Media World, a Mediaization of Everyday Communication and Couple Relationship States, the relationship is constantly changing and evolving through communication. So what better way to help your relationship than by using DIY couples therapy to learn how to effectively listen to your special someone? Please, doctor, tell us more about this DIY couples therapy board game. Absolutely. Um, this game is very simple. It does not depend on the scoring system, although to make it a little bit more interesting for some couples, they do tend to keep score. However, the game is designed to learn how to listen effectively to one another and also become supportive listeners of one another. Bodhi, Victory, and Gearhart um, describe supportive listeners as actively focusing on the concerns, concerns of another person in a non-judgmental way and are seen as generally friendly and likable. In addition, they are also optimistic truthful, motivated, understanding, and encouraging. Now, doesn't that sound like an attribute you and your partner would like to have? Definitely. That's definitely something any couple would want to work on, whether they're having trouble in their ship or not. In Jody Brownell's book, Listening, Attributes, Principles, and Skills, she discusses two important reasons for listening. The first is to accomplish tasks, and the second is to build relationships. This game is designed to help with both. You may now be asking yourself, how does this game actually work? Well, you simply roll the dice, and each number or color on the dice stands for a category of cards you can pick from. There are six categories in this game. Each category helps the couples in one way or another to, create, to help create communication and to help listen effectively. Also, to open doors to deep conversation that will test those listening skills and open the communication between one another. Please note though, that if you want this game to be successful, you will need to encourage one another to be honest as possible without being hurtful or judgmental. In Deborah Worthington's article, Exploring the Relationship, Bettering Listening Styles, and Need for Cognition, states, as listeners, it is important to understand the speaker's feelings and emotions. The six categories that this game consists of will help you and your partner build on your effective listening skills together. Category one is our in-depth personal questions directed towards the individual to open avenues of communication. Category two are also in-depth personal questions, but they're directed towards the couple to open avenues about themselves as a couple. Category three consists of listen, repeat, and respond, just like the game telephone. Category four is our role-playing activity. And category five are just our what-if scenarios. And finally, category six are fun facts in regards to communication and listening in relationships. To, so to help the audience better understand, we turn to Dr. Here to give them a taste of what might be asked and how this game could work in their own home. Thank you. That is a great idea. I'll go through each category and give a couple examples of what might be asked. Um, category one are in-depth personal questions. So an example of that might be, 
When your significant other is arguing with you, how does that make you feel? Example two, when you are expressing an important subject to your significant other, how well or do you feel that he or she listens effectively to you? If you feel like they are not listening effectively, give some examples of how he or she, what he or she could do to improve on their effective listening skills. Category two are the in-depth couple questions. So some examples of that would be, what type of listening response do you wish your significant other would do more? Example two, together, can you think of a word or phrase to use in a conversation with one another to help remind each other that you need to be listening effectively? Category three is our listen, summarize, repeat. Tell your significant other everything that you had to eat that day, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Then have your partner repeat back to you in order what they just said. Example two, express a favorite memory that you have with one another in great detail. Then have your partner tell the story back. If you want to make it a little bit more challenging, have your partner also share the same memory but from their own perspective. Good idea. Category four is our role play. Switch roles and pretend to be your significant other. As one is as one person is venting about something, act as how you feel your spouse responds slash listens to you. Uh, example two, pretend that you are, your, you are your partner. Now role play the specific feeling that you feel when he or she does not listen. As a second part of the category, play how you would feel if they did listen to you. Example our category five are our what ifs. An example of this might be, if you were trying to express something important to your significant other while they were distracted by something else, what would you say to let them know that you need them to listen effectively? Another example might be, what if you or your significant other were out in public and he or she did something that made you really upset? How would you express this to him or her and make sure that they are effectively listening, that what they are doing is upsetting you? Uh, category six, our final category is the fun facts. A fun fact that you might see is um, an example is this. In a study conducted by Brigham University, they measured the use of texting of individuals in relationships. Messages to approach or discuss confrontational subjects resulted more so as a negative form of communication and took away from face-to-face -face interaction with emotional and listening aspects. So now we are going to cut to a couple who is actually playing the game as we speak to see what they think about it and to see if they believe it is helping them build on their effective listening skills. There are so many benefits to buying and using the DIY Couples Therapy Board Game. For starters, it's a lot more interesting than any other out there to help you listen more effectively. With DIA Couples Therapy, it is going to help couples build and maintain a strong relationship in the comfort of their own home by utilizing effective listening as a cheaper alternative to professional couples counseling. Here are just a few more quotes from couples across America that are using this game to save their relationship. I thought DIY Couples Therapy Board Game was a great and fun way to work on our listening skills. This game makes it easy to really listen and understand what we had to say. I want you to remember that DIY Couples Therapy is affordable, easy accessible, and used within the privacy of your own home. It is more of an intimate setting for you and your partner. This board game will strengthen your listening and communication skills at an affordable price. DIY Couples Therapy is only $25.95. It is extremely affordable. So where do you buy this awesome game? You can purchase this $25.95 board game at any local store, such as your nearby Target, Walmart, or even Walgreens. Say you do not want to go out and buy DIY Couples Therapy board game, well all you have to do is call now and we will send it to you. No shipping and handling costs. Just call 1-800-DIY-4545. Remember, there is no need for that awkward third person therapy session when you can buy DIY Couples Therapy board game and play it in the comfort of your own home. So what are you waiting for? Call 1-800-DIY-4545. Right now. Start saving time, money, and your relationship. Thank you, Dr. Said and Dr. Here, for being here today and telling us all about your wonderful game. Yes, it was our pleasure.